fight number four in the light heavyweight division. Oh, Plava Muglo! In the blue corner, Stevan Yaric! Gorilla MMA Series 36 Serbian Battle Championship. We are live from Bočka Polanka, Serbia. Fourth fight on the card, the light heavyweight contest. And making his debut here as a professional, Stevan Jaric. There's five fights on the undercard tonight and then we have six fights on the main card building up to that big main event at flyweight Yakov Ekimov takes on Douglas Felipe two fights left on this undercard Jaric will make his way to the blue corner to make his debut Corner, Alexander Dimitrievich! So his opponent making his way down to the red corner for this light heavyweight contest, also from Serbia, Alexander Dimitrievich. Now, Dimitrievich has a record of two wins and three defeats. A very mixed record, won his first fight by Armbar in the very first round. Then he was submitted by Zoran Dodd, who we'll see later on with a rear naked choke in his second fight. From there, it was win, lose, win, lose. His last fight, he won by a disqualification. So comes in here with a very mixed bag against the debut fighter, Jaric. Dmitrievich will make his way to the red corner. Serbian fighter representing Family Fight team. He weighs in at 93.4 kilograms. This is he pro MMA debut. Stevan Jaric! In the red corner, coming from Serbia and representing Piranha and European top fighters Velice. He weighs in at 93 kilograms, two victories, three defeats. Alexander Dimitrievich! Sudia, Uova Mechu, Vladimir Badrlica. Gentlemen, you know the rules. Keep the fight clean and fair. When I say stop, I want you to stop the fight. Touch gloves into your corners. Thank you. A touch of gloves. And we are ready to start Gorilla MMA Series 36. This is a light heavyweight contest between Yaric in the blue corner, Dmitry Yevich in the red. The cage door closes. And we are ready to start it. Again, a difference in experience here. With the debut fighter dropping in for a double leg takedown into half guard. Looking to pass the guard there. Dmitrievich doing a good job of hipping out, getting his legs back in. 
and into the full guard now. Trying to work those legs up high, looking for the triangle choke early on. Yaric postures, throws the legs down, works back to the ground and pound. Lucy working the control of the head. He's trying to look for another submission there, looking for the Kimura from the bottom. Yaric doing a good job here of controlling the head. Dropping the elbow down the middle. And then as soon as the legs come up, any danger from those legs, he postures up well. Again, that elbow coming over the top. He's now against the fence. This is what I meant in the last fight. If you're inside someone's guard and you can get them up against the fence with the neck, pressure there makes it so difficult to use any guard work and then it made the pass so easy there to side control and again very clever work there from Yaric who as soon as you pass the guard if you move away from the fence it actually stops you from crowding your work and stops the person underneath using the fence to escape so this is good work good tactics so far from the debut fighter switching his base forward there and then back to a classic side control to avoid the hip. Avoid the knee and elbow escape. Looking to work around to north-south, looking to try and isolate an arm. Working for, maybe for the arm barber there. Dmitrievich turned into him nicely, defended the arm, got his elbow back safe, and then back into the side control. So you can see here, Yaric, although he's working some strikes in, he's actually looking to set up submissions again, looking to try to get the elbows away from the body. Now he's landing the big elbows there. Shifting to a bit more ground and pound here for Yaric from top then. Again, looking to isolate that far arm. Drops the elbow, now he's got the arm. We look to work. Pressuring the shoulder and he can look for the Kimura on that far arm or the Americana. Two different shoulder locks, one with the hand facing upwards so then works into the scaffold. Got the elbow off the floor, his hips are underneath the elbow. Nice tight position, drops the elbow down again. Nice variety of technique and good control here for the top position. Dmitrievich just defending, keeping the hands together. Managed to get back to a some sort of a guard with the legs between, but straight away Yaric passes into side, now dropping big elbows. They were solid shots there. Again, he switches base underneath the elbow, keeps the elbows off the floor while he goes back to isolating that far arm. Does look like he's trying to get to mount. He works his knees up into position. But that right knee there, underneath from Dmitrievich, is just following the hip, just making it difficult to get the mount. You see there again. Now Yaris looking for the north-south choke. Again, showing great control. As he attacks, pressures the shoulder in. And that round number one finishes. As we wait for the replay, it's a very clear first round for me for the debut fighter, Stevan Yaric. Yaric gets a nice double leg takedown there. 
Didn't take him long to pass to side control and then his hip movement, the isolation on the far arm while he dropped in elbows was showing very good experience. And you see there the difference in strikes, 18 out of 20. Effective strikes and a huge volume in comparison to his opponent. Yarich yeah, starts round number two with kicks. Nice high kick again. Hey, <laughs> off balance, that is the risk with a high kick. Dmitrievic comes underneath, kicks the leg again, that's twice. Drops into the top position. The ground and pound doesn't look solid, but he's controlling position well. Back to the feet in the scramble, and this time. Yaric gets the front headlock to defend the takedown. Trying the cross face now. Dmitrievich driving his ear into the midsection to stop any sort of front headlock and then gets the takedown again. And now he's in, side, in half guard, sorry, on top. Working the strikes now. Yarich, for me, after such a good first round, gave up this position too easily there. I was surprised. He showed some good control movement in the first. These ground and pound shots going in, not doing loads of damage, but what it does do is it keeps the action going and stops the referee from stepping in as Dmitrievich can look to better his position. The referee will not stand him up for lack of action while shots are going in. And he's working strikes to try to get past that half guard, maybe into side control or mount. Yarich looking to use that inside bicep and the hand around the head to control and stop the action, but he's not working to get his knees back in to get back to full guard or using the fence to stand up. And here he goes onto his elbow, hips to the fence. Now he can start to work his back up the fence, up to the knee. Dmitrievich tries to grab the single, try and pull the hips off the fence. Catches the ankle, back down to the ground. So it's good work from Yaric to try to stand up, but defended well. Dmitrievich shows his wrestling skill there. The stats really starting to even up here, and this is a complete about turn from the first round. Yaric now, can he get the top position? Because from what it looks like so far, Whichever fighter gets the top is the fighter that's going to get the win. Oh, look, looking for the green naked trip from the side position, then into an outside trip. Can Dmitrievich get out the back door there from underneath? No. He's got the cross body lock. Position into the top. Nice transition there into side control. Effortless pass to mount position. Ground and pound strikes coming down. Looking for the rear naked choke now. Falls off the side. So Dmitrievich just rushed a little bit early to try to get the choke too high up on the upper body Yaric gets the turn will he posture up and look to work past the guard he had great hip movement and control when he passed the guard in round number one but is he tired 
the nerves of a debut fight. Rida could have got to him as he lands a big shot there in the ground and pound. But definitely not the same as we saw him in round number one. Dmitrievich controlled maybe three, three and a half minutes of that round, really evened up the strikes and has to take the fight, or the, the round, sorry, on my card, which evens things up to one round each as we watch the replay of round number two. There we see Dmitrievich take top position, ground and pound shots, nice takedowns, control against the fence. There's nothing in the submission attempt there, but it did lead to the trip at takedown. However, at least three and a half minutes of that round controlled by Alexander Dmitrievich to even things up on my card. Gorilla MMA Series 36 Serbian Battle Championships. We have a light heavyweight contest between Jaric in the blue corner and Dmitrievic in the red. You can tell the corner by the tape on their gloves. One round each on my card. Dmitrievic really pulling things back there in round number two, but it's a big right hand coming in there from Jaric. Inside low kick from Dmitrievic. Another inside low kick, not checked, not defended. And again, that's three in a row, high kick coming up. Now it's the high kicks from Jaric that actually gave the takedown to Dmitrievic in round number two, as he shot the low kick underneath, this inside low kick that he seems to have so much success with. into that clinch against the fence. There is definite signs that Yaric was tired. He did have a big first round, a lot of success, a lot of movement from that side control position, trying to get the mount, working into north-south and looking for the chokes. And he came out for round number two with nowhere near the same enthusiasm and assertiveness as he had in round number one and now he's got the takedown and that was a big heavy elbow now it's again with another heavy elbow has he got enough left in the tank to try to push for a finish here looking to get up to the feet Dmitrievich working that hip guard and then closes into a full guard. When he's working with his feet on the hips, it's a nice, easy transition up to a high guard, looking for submissions like the triangle choke and the arm bar. You'll see Yaric pummel his arms inside to break the grip, work the strikes. There's the arm bar attempt there from Dmitrievich. Keeping those legs locked up high, close to like a top lock position, trying to keep the knee over the shoulder. Yaric gets the shoulders free and we're back down to full guard. Trying to work the strikes. Dmitrievich holding Yaric tight to him to take out any power from the ground and pound. And there we see the referee wants to see more action. Stands them back up to the feet. Here we go, round number three, Gorilla MMA Series 36. We're in the third and final round. The light heavyweight contest. Yaric may be pulling away again in the round number three. Needs to be careful, I think, not throwing. That was a 
big uppercut attempt and he, I think he needs to stay away from throwing the high kicks. There's Dmitrievich, very good with that low kick on the inside as a counter to the high kick. And back into the clinch against the fence. Shoulder throw. Can Yaric pass now and work from this side control position where he has so much success, he does. Again, you see him switch base, hips forward. 38 seconds left and I think it's gonna be difficult here going by how we saw the control in round number one. I think Dmitrievich is gonna find it very difficult to shift Yaric, who for me has come out and had a very good third round. Can he put the icing on the cake with a submission here? Again, he looks to isolate the far arm, dropping the elbow. And there the bell goes. For me, that's a debut win for Stevan Jaric. Definitely won rounds number one and number three on my card as we hand over for the official decision. Oh, sorry, we'll get the replay first. Let's have a look at this third round. Big right cross there from Jaric, who seemed to have round number two off, but came back in round number three. Take down control from inside the guard. And then nice heavy elbows there. hip toss and control from that side control position. Pobednik, jednoglasnom sudijskom odlukom. All judges stole the same. The winner is... Esteban Diari!